Hi families, welcome to the virtual open house. I hope you've enjoyed navigating around and visiting different classrooms. Welcome to the library. My name is Miss Ackerman and I'm the librarian here. It is my fourth year as a librarian at Fisher and I've been in education now for 12 years. Thank you for taking the time to come see the library during your virtual open house. Every student at Fisher has the opportunity to come to the library. Every week, classes are scheduled and they come on a weekly basis. So your child is coming every week to the library with his or her class. When students come to the library, I do a lesson or a read aloud with them, and then students are able to check out books. They can get books as long as they brought back their books from the previous week. We will start open circulation in October, and that is more of a flexible scheduling. So whenever students finish books, they're able to come to the library even without their class. Now I work with the teachers um, and I teach the students how to do things independently so that any time during the week, as long as their teacher says it's okay, they're able to walk into the library and switch out books themselves even if I have a class here. That will start in October. That way, when students finish their books, they don't have to wait an entire week to get a new book. For example, if their library time is on Friday, but they're ready for new books on Tuesday, they will be able to come into the library, return their books, and get some new books so that they don't have to wait all the way until Friday to get new books. So they come to the library every week with their teacher, and soon they will be welcome to come anytime they need books. If a child does not return a library book, of course they are still welcome to come with their class and participate in the lesson or the read aloud, but they will not be able to check out a new book until they return the book that they have. When a child has a book for more than two weeks, I print an overdue notice for them. Let me show you what that looks like. An overdue notice will have the child's name, the title of the book, and I usually try to include pictures of the book so that you know what to look for at home too. Also included on an overdue notice is the price of the book. Now you don't have to pay any money if you find the book. I'm hoping that by sending this home You'll be able to help search the house and find the book and return it. So don't worry about paying any money. Just find the book and return it. That's what an overdue notice looks like. If you ever get an overdue notice and you have questions or concerns about it, or you're thinking, like, my child doesn't know that book, we, we've never gotten it, I don't know where it is, just contact me, and I'm definitely willing to work with you to um, locate any lost books. The Fisher Library is of course available to students, but it's also available to families. If you would like to come to the library, just contact me and we can schedule a time for you to come after hours or before school hours. You might want to come to check out books for yourself or for other children that you have. Even if they're not Fisher students, we still have a lot of books and you might find books that you want for them. So school age or not school age, um, you can definitely check out books for them as well. After school, you might want to spend some time reading with your child here in the library. We also have other activities that you can do with your child like puzzles and some construction activities like Legos and circuit boards. And there is some technology available for families as well. So if you would like to come before school or after school hours, contact me and I'll give you my contact information at the end and we'll schedule a time for you to come. What else does the library have to offer? I'm going to bring you to the Fisher Library webpage in just a moment and I will show you all of the electronic resources and databases and ebooks that students can access. Let's go ahead and do that now. The 
This is the Fisher Library homepage. You can get to it from the Fisher homepage and just click the tab that says Fisher Library. I'm going to click here where it says Electronic Resources and show you that we have access to all of these websites. Most of the time it's going to ask you for a username and password, which I have. Um, unfortunately, I can't post them along with the website because of pri uh, privacy reasons, but I am able to give you usernames and passwords in writing or with bookmarks. So your child um, may take a bookmark home that has the username and passwords for all of these websites. And if you need something specific that you don't have, you can email me and I'll be able to email username and passwords to you as well. BrainPop is a really good website. Learn360. This is um, Overdrive Sora, which you can check out books online and read books online. Here's another database. It's really user friendly. There's just a lot of really, really good websites here. So, um, let me know if you need username and passwords or send a note with your child to the teacher and we'll make sure that you are able to access all of these materials because that's what they're here for. They're here for students and families as well. Here are some common questions about the library. What if my child lost their library book? If you cannot find a library book and you've been receiving overdue notices like this and you just don't know where the book is, let me know. Contact me. If your child's book has been badly damaged, for example, if um, it got dropped outside in a rain puddle or if the dog got a hold of the book or if your child put the book in the backpack and then a water bottle spilled, um, bring that book to school no matter what kind of condition it's in and that way I can remove it from your child's account. I understand that accidents happen. We don't mean to damage a book, but it might happen. And what I don't want is for the child to feel embarrassed or ashamed and hide the book or say they lost it. I'd much rather have it back so that I know what happened to it. If you do not want your child to check out books from the library, let me know. You can send a note or an email. And here is all of my contact information. Um, you could give the school a call, send a note to the teacher that says to the librarian. Probably the fastest way to get through to me is to send me an email. So my email is right there, backerman at pasadenaisd.org. I'll leave that up for a second if you want to write that down. Last year, we did some curbside pickups when um, COVID got pretty bad and we had a lot of virtual students. While I'm not going to do curbside pickup this year, I am able and willing to check out books for you and your family if you do not want to come into the library, but you're still interested in getting books from the library. So again, that would be an email to me and you can ask, say, Ms. Ackerman, could I please have some second grade bilingual books or third grade books um, fiction or some chapter books for my emerging reader. If you describe to me what your needs are, I'm willing to pick and choose some books that I think you would like. So that is definitely an option. And then um, what we can do is we can try to schedule a time or a day that you can come to the front office and pick up some books. I hope you've enjoyed visiting the library during your virtual open house. If you have not, I encourage you to visit the other specials teachers as well. Music and PE and technology. And of course, your child's classroom teacher. Have a wonderful school year. Please reach out if you need anything. I am always here to help. Bye.